and so on. And um, I think on uh, Thursday, you will have some slot with me, right? But physically, I'm not here. But virtually, I'm there inside the online learning. So make sure you open to my YouTube channel. If you don't want to open it now, also can. You want to open it later, also can. You try your best to create your online form. And after that, make sure it's synced to your phone. However, it's easily to sync using Android phone rather than the iPhone. So, never mind. I will simulate it after this. Hopefully, it's everything fine. If not, then you must buy or stole your friend phone. Lah. <laughs> okay. So, the first thing, you must know that the API Info is a data management system. It comprises the linkages between the Microsoft Access. Siapa pernah pakai Access? Angkat tangan. Microsoft Access. Pernah tengok Microsoft Access? Pernah kan? Microsoft Access ni more on the databases. So the API Info actually utilize that kind of uh, simulation using the Microsoft Access. So I'm going to open it uh, something for you so that you can um, capture what I meant by this explanation. And then um, by the end of this particular course, you also will know all these following uh, terminology. The first one is a database. Database ni maksudnya pengkalan data. Pengkalan data ada dua. Satu secara manual dan satu secara digital. Di dalam medical record department, they will have these two mechanism. Majority in other world, they using the digital form already. But some of them still utilize the hard copy. But the hard copy is being shrinking. Dia kecilkan dalam bentuk archive ataupun film dan diletak di dalam pengarkiban negara. Ha, tengok kepada jenis databases yang ada lah. Tapi di Malaysia, kebanyakannya kita pakai yang hard copy. That's why if you go to any PKDs, any uh, health district office, you can have lots of IP kan? Iaitu investigation paper yang ada dalam bentuk penulisan. Soft copy pun ada, hard copy pun ada. No problem with that. And then you have the record. What is the man by record? Record means you are trying to gather the data from the four different type of scale of measurement. Nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio. And then you try to comprise it everything inside your databases. So that is called record. So how we want to record? Based on the two mechanism lah. The first one, manually. The second one, digitally. Which one you prefer? Uh, which one you prefer? It's go back to your to your district lah. And then go back to your department. Whether your department keen to use the virtual or the online system or the hard copy system eh. Medan. Medan is called fill. Fill ni dekat dalam canvas. Kejap lagi saya demo. Apa itu canvas? Dia adalah bermaksud variables. Variables ini maknanya apa? Pem? Pem boleh ubah. All the field and variables need to be set by you. And if you wrongly decide what kind of field or what kind of measurement, then you will wrongly uh, collect the wrong data lah. You want the age in numerical, but you ask people how old are they in terms of the checkbox. Tanda kan dia punya umur. Ha, habis. Terus tak dapat data nak kira min umur. Kerana apa? Umur dah, dah jadi dalam bentuk nominal or ordinal. Despite of the numerical values. Faham kan? Awak nak tahu orang punya status demam tak demam. Awak tanya demam tak demam dengan tanya temperature badan. Ha, awak tanya demam tak demam, awak dapatlah demam tak demam. Betul? Tapi kalau awak tanya berapa temperature badan, maka awak dapat numeric data. Remember, before this I already explained to you, Please try your best to get the numerical data. Even though the system is already established there, indicate only the symptom. But remember, as the environmental health officer, you need to know the numerical data is much more powerful in terms of making a prediction. Jelas? Jelas tak jelas ni? Apa yang 